Hello everyone, welcome back with a card making tutorial and today we are making some Cass Rakhi cards and here I was showing you two main products which I have used to make my own mirror card stock and then how I use this die to create some die cutting. Now all the details on how I created these die cards are available in my previous video which I will link below for you all so you can check that out in depth. I did not want to create repeat content and that's why I am not adding the same here. If you check my description, you will find the video link. Also, you can go in my video list on my YouTube channel and you will find one video older than this, which will have all the details. So I have created some die cut pieces and these colors that I have used is gold, rose gold and silver. So here I'll be making three cards and for that I'm using these notelets, which are ready card based. All I had to do is fold them and get them ready. Now. I knew that my focal point was going to be the die cutting thing and that's why I wanted to keep the papers which are super minimalist and light. For that I am using these handmade papers. So here I will show you the pack and these are craft angles newly launched handmade fiber papers and what these does is it kind of adds a little bit of elegant touch to your cards and it adds that subtle texture which is through those threads that you see. So this adds very, uh, you know, light, handmade, uh, textured kind of a background, which will not overpower my focal point, which is going to be those glittery die cuts that I created. So what I have done is I have already cut them to size, which is slightly smaller than the, my card base. So my card base is A2 card base and these are cut to be, you know, like 0.25 inches each side slightly smaller. And then what I'm doing is I'm using these die cuts. So for uh, these brown, light brown color that I'm using over here, uh, the handmade paper, I am using the gold die cuts. And here you can see how I assemble my card. Now I'm using my make art uh, Wendy Vecchi stage station, which is that magnetic plate that you see there, which keeps everything in place. Now I do a lot of card making videos now and then. That's why I have this tool and it makes my life easier. Again, all the products that I talk about or use are linked below for you all in case you are interested. Now here I have kind of gone with a subtle color combination. So you can see I have used like light browns and light colors and I have used the mirror cardstock also that I created was rose gold, gold and silver which are fairly muted shades. Okay, so this I wanted to do uh, lighter or more subtle cards as compared to more strong colors. If you are interested to see how these look pretty with you know like blue foils red foils green foils so bright colors you can check out my other live that i did last year where i have created my own diy mirror card stock in the shades blue red green and then i have created very much colorful cards and envelopes for rakhi i'll link that below all also for you all so you could definitely check that out it's one of my more popular videos here I am using liquid glue to stick everything in place. Also I am using the guide marks on this station to make sure everything is straight. And I use this mag magnets to make sure you know that everything sticks on top of each other and it doesn't move while I am sticking with liquid glue. And I will follow the exact same process for all my other two cards. Now here you will see right off the bat that my die cards are stacked. What do I mean by stacking of die cards, which I have al already shown in my previous video, if you would have already seen, is that I die cut the word Raksha Bandhan, for example, uh, three, four times. Three times I cut it out out of white cardstock and the fourth time I have cut it out out of the silver mirror cardstock that I created, for example, for this card. And then what I do is I stick those die cards one on top of each other using liquid glue, making sure that they are aligned correctly. So what that does is it gives me a very thick die cut piece which uh, may not look a lot in the video because you are seeing the top view but trust me when you see the card in your hand or when you see the side view where you see all those tag die creating the dimension like an MDF die cut uh, that makes a lot of difference and you know it creates a lot of texture on your card so if you have time I'll always suggest that you know you create such kind of stack die cuts they add a lot of uh, focal point or they put a lot of eyes and you know it looks really uh, 
interesting on your card especially if you are doing cards like these so this is a very simple cards right so all the die cutting is the focal point of this card i have not added anything else except the light textured paper that i added in the background so i really wanted those die cuts to stand out on top of my card and also since they say the word raksha bandhan which is the function that you know we are celebrating here in india i wanted them to stand out on top of my card and that is why i have uh, you know created that stack die cut piece do give it a try it's a very interesting take on how to use die cuts on card making and i really love the whole effect it gives so that's it i follow the same process uh, for uh, you know the last card which is the rose gold card and that will complete my all three cards that i made for today as always i leave you with all the close ups on how i made this card i hope you enjoyed this very simple uh, tutorial which did not use a lot of supplies and um, as i mentioned earlier in the start of the videos in case you are interested in how to learn you know how to make your own mirror card stock how i did the die cutting how i created the die stacked uh, die cut pieces i will leave two tutorials for you all linked below in the description of this video which is part 1 of uh, these tutorial and you can check that same out and that will give you all the details on how i did that i'll see you soon with another tutorial till then guys take care bye bye also if you like my videos don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you soon with another such crafty tutorial idea till then guys take care